So it's a very complex story how we went from from a peace and tranquility uh, to to how this story. This is what I why I spent so much time researching this. Of all the problems we have in the world, when I was a kid growing up in Southwood, uh, mom and dad built a new house in 1962. We got an air raid siren before we got a school. <laughs> These were the days of uh, mutually assured destruction. The Cuban Missile Crisis, and I would come home from school. They give us, they show us a little video at school on how if the, if the big one was hitting uh, Calgary, of course Calgary was a target because it was the center of the oil industry. If there was an incoming thermonuclear warhead and the sirens went off, if we crawled under the desk, we could prevent incineration for up to a nanosecond <laughs> by hiding on the floor. So I would go home at night and I was terrified. Right? I was young and this was the big scare. And I'd go, Mom, Mom and Dad, are we gonna, are we gonna build a bomb shelter in the backyard? And, uh, and so we've always had this. We've always had problems. There's been world hunger, world peace. There's been wars, there's been disease, pestilence. Uh, and that's been a huge disaster as well. And weather disasters have always happened for years. How did climate change get to the top of the heap? And it's a combination of factors. There's the media, there's the way information is disseminated, there's an innate fear, uh, almost a, default, a defense mechanism that we have that this, this is good, too good to be true, it must be. 